plagued by the unpaid debt for antiretroviral drugs supplied to the Zambian government, Sipla Quality Chemicals, this year finally posted a profit, lending confidence to investors who weathered a rocky start that saw a drop in share price and loss making for a number of years. When you look at the profit after tax, um, and I'll compare it to the profitability as well, over the years, we had gone down to negative because of the effect of providing in full of the Zambia debt over the years. And when we recover, that has gone up. But even without the recovery, we still recorded a healthy growth in the net profit margin. So our net profit, our bottom line, was $24 billion compared to a loss of $11 billion in the previous year. Even though the Zambian government debt is no longer eating into the company's balance sheet and profitability, that money owed is still expected. Um, but, but given the progress we made in the last year and the, the payments of almost $5.3 million, we're very hopeful that within this year we, we, we must collect the balance as well. Yes. Um, and we are in constant discussion. And first of all, the biggest positive is they're very receptive of we going and asking them that how this could be settled. With a two shillings dividend declared per share, by market standards, this is deemed low, but the company warns investors not to necessarily compare it with other listed companies. The company listed in USC are, are telecoms, banks, which, which is not pharmaceutical. Is. Um, the pharmaceutical life cycle is different. It works a little bit differently. Um, I was explaining to you it doesn't give you returns quickly because it has a very long lead time of bringing products and taking the products and creating market for it. There is more hope for better profitability and perhaps shareholder value now that the company has gone into manufacturing of cancer drugs and better market once the COVID-19 effects wear off. Ismail Musa, Ladu, NTV Business.